Piers sat down with Piers Morgan. I want to hear what he has to say because this is a shorter video. Um, he sat down with Piers to talk about the whole thing. So let's hear what Dan Dylan Dallas has to say to Piers, as probably Brendan would call him, Piers Morgan. Let's see what Dylan Dennis has to say when he sat down with Piers Morgan about the fucking fight he had with Logan Paul. Let's see Wagwan. Let's see Wagwan. I've got the thing on there. Is the sound on properly? Yes, it, uh, yes, it is. Cool. Let's do this. Well, I'm delighted to say that he joins me now, speaking for the first time since Saturday's defeat. All right, well, Dylan, how are you, first of all? I feel great. Uh, MMA is a lot harder than boxing, I'll say. Definitely on the body. MMA is? Yeah, yeah, really? a lot harder, yeah. You're, but you you're... are wearing dark glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a reason. I wear glasses all the time. Let's but... have a quick look. I don't want to get a little one. I don't know have come the satisfaction. On, on. Let's see the eyes. There we are. Not too bad. I mean, I was in a fist fight, but he looked worse. He was running the whole time. You know? Yeah. I wanted to fight. He was running. So I didn't really get the satisfaction. Here's my take on what happened. Yeah. Did you watch you, the fight? You are, yeah. You are a brilliant jujitsu yeah. fighter. I mean, you're one of the best there's been, right? You're a world I champion appreciate the, multiple you. times. You have huge credibility and respect for everything you've achieved in jiu-jitsu. Thank you. But, but when I watched what that's... happened uh, at the weekend um, with you and Logan Paul, I just thought, I don't know. It just feels, seemed to me like Where's what was time? in that for you? I get that it makes you more famous. Yeah. I get it made you a ton of money. I get all that. I yeah. get that from a marketing point of view. Yeah. Everyone thoroughly enjoyed was, the extravaganza. Yeah, yeah. But as a fighter with a great reputation, yeah. when you came away from it, what did you feel? About the fight, the fight, it didn't feel like a fight. I feel like he was running away. Every time I tried to engage with him and, and try to get in there and like trade, he would run away, you know? And you landed scared. nine punches in six rounds. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> Sorry, bro. I didn't know it was that bad. I didn't know it was that bad. Honestly, I, I, I haven't rewatched any clips. I've not done nothing. I fucking hated the whole card. I despise everybody on it. Dylan Dennis included, Logan Paul, all these people, KSI, they can all get fucked. I don't care about them when it comes to fighting. When they're doing content, when Dylan's doing MMA shit, when he's interviewing, when he's trolling, I'm all for it. But when it comes to boxing and fighting, count me out. I don't want anything to do with these guys. So I paid no attention to what I was watching it live. I didn't know it was that bad. I didn't know it was that bad. He said, what, six punch? What's that? Nine punches in six rounds. And Hold on. Like trade, he would run away, you know. And you landed scared. nine punches in six rounds. Nah, come on, bro. Nine punches in six rounds. It's not like he's facing fucking Floyd Mayweather there. He's facing Logan Paul. If anything, even though Logan Paul's a better boxer, they're both probably at the same level when it comes to fight experience anyway. Right in terms of Dylan doesn't really have many fights professionally under his belt outside of jujitsu. Logan just got into fighting later on in his life. They're probably both at the same level of experience in terms of like head damage and shit. So it's not like he got in there fighting a professional boxer and then he got put to shame. He went in there fighting somebody probably at the same level that he is when it comes to striking, and he only registered nine punches in six rounds. Yeah, I mean, but the thing I mean, that's was, not great, is it? It's because he was running, though. Ian McConnor mm. was saying it. He he was running. He was he was on the back foot the whole time. I was trying to push forward. I wanted to fight. I wanted to clinch. I wanted to fight. I was like, I mean, you threw more fights at the end with the security guys. Exactly, that big dude, man. I was trying to get at him, but he was a chunky big dude, and he was pushing me away and everything. But it was why? Fun why, had... why did you just for the record? Because why he did you me suddenly one... dive in and do a jujitsu move? I wasn't actually trying to, but he was smart. He vaseline his head, uh, his head up. So uh, I guess he knew I was trying to go for his neck, but. At that moment, you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Supposedly, Logan put Vaseline on the back of his head <laughs> and his neck because <laughs> he knew Dylan would try and get him into a joke. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, there's Logan there at the bottom, right, in the melee. That's pretty... Uh, I, I wonder who's got that picture. Hopefully someone has that picture. That's, that's actually something that, that belongs in the fucking Louvre. Somebody's got a picture of Dylan, I'm sorry, of Logan here at the bottom celebrating as everybody jumped in the melee, people going crazy in the ring and fighting each other. Hopefully somebody's got a picture of that, of the background of everybody going crazy and Logan just standing there victorious. I did it for you, Nina! Nina, I did it for you! Like, okay, whatever. The moment I actually wasn't, I was just grabbing his head and he just kind of shrugged me in the, the Vaseline and he threw that punch and then I up kicked him. He dived in for his... Body, his legs. Yeah, I was just kind of, oh, at that one time, yeah. yeah. I was just kind of just messing around a little bit, you know, to let him know what a real fight is. Um, boxing's not a real fight. It's a half a fight. I want to fight him in a real fight where he shook my hand and said he was going to fight me in MMA. Do you think he'll ever get in an MMA environment with you? I mean, he shook my hand. If he's a real man, he should, you know. Um, 
from again, I, I'm I'm nobody to educate anybody in fighting. Like I said, most of my experiences come from uh 30 day groupon classes i did like seven of them in a row i'm not sure if you guys remember but in like just before the pandemic i think i'm probably exposing myself but fuck it just before the pandemic there was like a little hustle on the internet going on at, at the time and i think again this is really fucking damn bad shit but just before the pandemic there was a little hustle a little scammy scam happening right where people were number one doing these subway card things there's like a subway card that you could get stamped up and you could get like a free sub. Somebody was selling either the stamp or the stamps or you could buy the card stamped up and get like free subways or they'd come with a discount. Oh no, actually, sorry, it was an app. That's what it was, it was an app. People were selling logins of apps that had like all the stamps on it, right? And you would use that login to go up there and buy a fucking subway or get loads of subways for cheap or whatever it may be. At the same time, there was also some sort of hustle involving Groupons and Groupon classes, and you could basically add loads of Groupon classes to your fucking thing, innit, wherever it may be. So for one summer, I think it was like in 2017 or something, or maybe 2015, one of them summers, I just went to loads of Groupon classes. I did fencing, um, I did, uh, what's that thing called? I did fencing, I did Muay Thai, I did MMA, I did boxing, and I think I did something else. I forgot what else I did. Anyway, I did it for like six months, just rotating loads of classes, doing like loads of like starter classes and shit, right? And from my experience of doing those Groupon classes, again, this is not me fighting at the highest level, right? But I can honestly say the hardest to do of all the combat sports was definitely boxing. Boxing is super hard to do. I think boxing is actually the hardest of all combat sports, in my personal opinion. Obviously, striking in terms of Muay Thai and being able to be coordinated with your legs and getting your legs up in a certain position and being able to check kicks and all that stuff is really difficult to learn. And just to generate power, right, in your kicks is not something that you find easy to do for the most part. Maybe I got some experience or some, I find it maybe a little bit easier because I played a lot of football and whatever it may be, maybe because I danced back in the day, I didn't find it super hard, but it was a bit hard to get used to how to stand on one leg, how to hit pads and shit, had to hit people in the head, hit people in the arms, blah, 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 blah. But I think boxing was the one thing where I left and I remember having a headache. Obviously, I had a headache because I got keep getting fucking dinged around, but I do remember it kind of hurting my brain, remembering combination, remember where to stand, remembering where to punch from, remembering how to put, remembering to keep your hands up all the time. That's one thing that was really getting me fucked up. Like, I remember fighting like a couple of girls, right? <laughs> a couple like 15 year old girls. And every time I put my hands down, she'd be like knocking my head back. Like, I'll be like, boop. I was like, fucking hell, I'm getting lit up, bro. This girl is fucking lighting me up. So I think personally, again, my own personal experience, very limited. Boxing is way harder than any combat sport to actually get good at really is so if you fight somebody proficient if you fight like i'd imagine a regular guy going into a boxing ring against like an under 18 kid champion or under 16 you're gonna get fucking lit up you really are those 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 kids that have been starting doing boxing from really young they're crazy crazy good at what they do very crazy good and just even the stamina alone to last two minutes in a ring and you don't realize how big the ring is until you get into it by the way people don't people underestimate how big a boxing ring is until you actually step inside it like getting pushed up against the ropes finding space like oh it's fucking difficult so i don't actually agree with dylan dan so i think boxing is way harder than mma in my opinion he didn't defend his fiance in my opinion if a man talks the way i did about your fiance he should no, you see, i wanted up. to mention that too because yeah. i i don't know him uh, or his fiance uh, Nina Agdal, right? But I don't know. I think that's her stage name. <laughs> it- <laughs> I told you this would happen, didn't it? I told you guys. It, th- Logan's only really role, only way to like make this not be like this. He 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 should have. Logan should have went in there and did what Dylan was trying to do at the end. Logan should have went in there, won, and then after the fact, just tried to fuck him up. Fuck it. Forget the record. Who gives a fuck? Like, you got your money anyway. It's not like you're not going to get your money. You're not trying to be pro. If I was Logan, I would have done what Dylan done at the end. So you win the fight, the the bell rings at the end, and then you go and start the madness. You fucking take him down. You fucking start throwing punches and kicks. Like, whatever. Just go fucking crazy. That would have been the only way to kind of work this. But I always said, even if Dylan lost, he would still be trolling, as he still is now. What about that? 
Isn't it a bit cheap, Dylan, to go for the girl, not the man? No, because if it really? was if it was someone else, yes. I would never do that. I would never cross those lines. But with the Pauls, they cross those lines all the time. Um, his brother went at my... Yeah, but should, you, should you stoop to that level? Um, in this fight, I think it, it made sense because I, I, it was all true. Everything was public. I, what she's saying, what she's suing me for is all fake. I didn't ha uh, hack her phone. I didn't do all, any but of that But have you ever stuff. done that to a jiu-jitsu opponent? No. no you I wouldn't would have done it to even... Like, if I was talking about a regular fighter's wife, I'd be like, oh, the guy's an asshole. Well, people know this is true. People know her past. It's all out there. So everything was public. And I you was know what I mean, though? You're a, you're, like I say, you're a world champion yeah, yeah. fighter. Yeah. It just seemed a little bit but demeaning the one thing to me to too, target the woman, not the guy. In, a bo in this boxing match, he's 0-2. I'm a, I'm a jiu-jitsu guy. Where are we going to sell our, uh, our boxing skills? No. You know, I'm a promoter. So I wanted to make people watch this fight. And it did over 1.3 million views. So, as How much money did you make from it? A lot. You haven't yeah. said how much? I don't want to say a number, but a lot of money. A lot of money. But I should have been the paper. I should have got the paper. I mean, you did actually say that if you lost, you would give your share of the purse. In fact, we got a clip. We, on never, sh we never shook hands. Well, here we though. are. We so never shook here's hands. Here's a clip. Yeah. I bet I knock you out. How much? I don't care. It don't matter. I, I made a bet to you. What was it? It said if I win, I had to be the best man at your wedding. Okay, okay. Okay. And if I win, <laughs> yeah. I get your entire purse. Sure. Sure. All right. Well, that's pretty unequivocal. So, Dylan. Here we have a large, <laughs> a large checkmate payable. <laughs> That's but good. what we don't know, we is, actually are we making actually an appeal though, so it actually might be a win for me because he punched me on the ground. Right. So but, the appeal might be, I might be the winner. But uh, oh my god, is he actually going to appeal? This is like a never-ending troll between these guys, isn't it? Never-ending troll. He's appealing a fight, and if he gets it overturned, he might actually win. What? If we were to put a figure in here, what are we looking at? Uh, over a million. Over a million <laughs> yeah. pounds or dollars? Dollars. A million US dollars. Yeah. That's your yeah, cut. Yeah. I mean, is that, I, is that your biggest ever payday? In fighting, yes, for sure. Yeah. You know, MMA doesn't pay that well. That's why. Oh, by the way, I've heard this. It is true. It doesn't really matter, but I've heard that allegedly um, Dylan is the son of some sort of big hedge fund manager person. He comes from money, basically. Which might explain why he's so like ambivalent, doesn't really give a fuck. Because there's t there's different types of rich kid personalities that kind of exist. I've, I'm, I'm, I know I've kind of grew up with one in school. This girl who was just really really nice and never really spoke about her family that much. But when after we found out, it kind of made sense. But she was super generous, always like you know willing to give people whatever, let people come around her house and stuff. The family were really nice as well. We didn't realize until later on that they were super super wealthy. Um, and there's also this type of personality where you just like you know. You don't really give a fuck. You sort of like, you know, you just kind of leave, live life in second gear type of thing. That kind of personality that Dylan has. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Who knows? But after this, I'm going to the UFC. I want to go to the UFC. I think the UFC now will see my potential in, in selling fights and everything like that. So Yeah, I, that's, that's the bit I get. I think you're a smart marketing yeah. guy, right? This I came up been, under the best. Yeah, this has know? all been a very smart marketing play. I get that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I went down to see uh, your mate Conor McGregor yeah. fight uh, Floyd Mayweather, and it was a fascinating thing to watch. Yeah. I never actually thought he could beat Floyd Mayweather. But he did great. Few, but for a few rounds, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, and it was yeah. really interesting he did, to watch. He, he did really and it was a massive success yeah. financially for both. That fight was better than fucking Logan Paul's fight with fucking Mayweather, by the way. So I do get the exhibition kind of nature of this, yeah. but it's not real fighting, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. In my opinion, it's not. If, we're, if me and you go into a street fight, we're not going to be like, hold on a second, let's go get these gloves and throw it on right. in the box. We're fighting. And he knows I would strangle him unconscious within 30 seconds in a real fight. That's why he didn't do the real fight. In the real in MMA, the bag was bigger than the boxing bag. Mm. Wow. Actually, so he turned that down. And Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, as Brenda would say. Okay, I didn't know that was the case. The bag was bigger doing MMA than it would be with boxing. Hmm. And uh, what I mean, would happen if you fought him in M MMA? It wouldn't last more than a minute. How would you take him? Wow. I, would, I would play with him. Yeah. I could take him down, mount him, and literally slap him around, and just it, it would be embarrassing. Actually, it'd be so fun. Do you think any boxer? Funny enough, I did celebrity. But that's the thing, though. We've seen Logan do um, a bit of MMA. What did he do it with? I forgot he was training with somebody. His takedown defense is pretty good. Wasn't he like a decent wrestler in college and shit as well? Logan is no dummy. It's not like he can't wrestle. So I don't know that he's way bigger than Dylan too. He's got decent takedown defense. You're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna have to take some blows to get close to him. I don't know. He's making it seem like it would be easier than what it seems. I don't think it'd be as easy as he thinks it's gonna be. And again, he, he's not. Uh, he's not like a. He doesn't have good striking anyway, Dylan. So he's gonna rely out in, in. You know, fundamentally on his fucking. That was fake. 
No way was it fake. What, why was it fake, Teju? You said it was fake. That, that Palo Costa one was fake. What was fake about it? As in they were practicing, they were dancing. Hmm. Apprentice, yeah. Uh, with Lennox Lewis. Oh, good. And yeah. Tito Ortiz. Yeah. The UFC guy. But these bastards think they can fight. They're what did we do? It was, it was actually very interesting. So yeah. um, we got talking one night, because every night you do these long hours, and yeah, you're yeah. sitting there talking together. And I said, what will happen with you guys? And I got them two sets of boxing gloves, and they sparred in the room, right? Oh, definitely Lennox, Lennox Lewis would be. And it was fun. <laughs> well, they both agreed that if it was straight boxing, Lennox would win. Yes. Right? He's one of the great world heavyweight champions yeah. of all time. But they also both agreed that if it got into Tito's world of yeah. UFC, he would win. Because he would get Lennox down and Lennox yeah, would exactly. Go. These guys don't know what they're doing. And Logan tries to act like he... Would you he beat does. any boxer, do you think? Oh, all of them. No well, I could probably do it in the same night. Like KSI, <laughs> Logan, Jake. I could probably do back... What about... What about... <laughs> I'm sorry. Dylan's funny, man. <laughs> I could probably fuck them up in MMA at the same night, back to back, in the same ring, probably. <laughs> Just be cutting their unconscious bodies out of the ring. Next one in. Chuck them out next one. <laughs> the elite boxer, actual <laughs> easy, yeah, top easy. Uh, the only one that ever wrestled, I think, was Terrence Crawford, but mm -hmm. I don't think he has like a serious wrestling background. But the jujitsu is too hard to learn. That's why. He's no, I didn't. Come on, John Doe. Come on, John Doe. Be fair. I didn't say Logan Paul was Bo Nickel. Come on, man. Don't Brendan me, but John Doe, don't Brendan me. Come on, man. Don't take the piss. <laughs> I didn't say Logan Paul was fucking Bo Nickel. You're taking the piss. You're putting words in my fucking mouth. Don't say that. I said he's a decent wrestler. He's got decent takedown defense. I didn't say he was Khabib. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't say that. Don't try and make me seem like I'm fucking Brendan. That's super unfair. <laughs> Logan is going to go in there like Khabib and rag no Dylan. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Decent is not UFC level. Okay, cool. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Um, oh, that's hilarious. If he wants her bond. He's not Bo Nickel. <laughs> sure, they don't do MMA. Because what about way Mayweather at his peak? Oh, easy. You would? Easy, 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 easy. He, has no, he doesn't have power. The, the hard thing with, like, the dangerous thing about a boxer for an MMA guy is someone that has a one-punch shot. Mm. We saw this in the first UFCs, you know. Once you shoot in, it's over, you know. You need to land that one shot, and it's very hard. So once I get a hold of someone, it's over. You know. You you weren't happy that Drake, the rapper, yeah, we're friends this too. That hurt me. Well, he bet on Instagram eight hundred fifty thousand dollars on your opponent yeah. to knock you out. He lost. Yeah, he, yeah, lost. he didn't knock you out. Yeah, and me and Drake were friends. So the, you know what's funny about that bet though? I was surprised he wouldn't, he couldn't knock out Dylan. Him being smaller, Logan being technically the better boxer, I was actually surprised he couldn't knock him out. Especially considering the extra motivation that Logan had with all the trolling of his wife. That's actually the really disappointing fight. That's actually a really disappointing part of the fight. Logan put his wife to be through all that abuse, right, to do the fight with Dylan, was kind of playing into it with all the tro not trolling, but responding online and whatever it may be. Instead of just ignoring it, he kind of played into it. The lawsuit comes about. Who knows who put it through? We're saying it's going to be Nina, but maybe Logan also approved it. It doesn't really matter. But all of that just to get into the ring and win on decision and not really put much damage on, you know what I mean? Like, the guy doesn't look like Elephant Man. He's got a bit of a black eye and that's it. Really and truly, everything that happened with his wife, he should have went in there with the sole intention of taking Dylan's head off his shoulders. And it, if anything, that fight maybe made Logan look worse, to be honest. No one was expecting Dylan to get in there and fucking box like Canelo. We all knew he doesn't have good boxing. But Logan should have went in there with the sole intention of putting this guy on his back. And he didn't. If anything, didn't didn't put himself on his back, right? When he did that, when he tried to fucking um, invite Logan into his garden shit. So, yeah, Logan really fucked up in that position. So I didn't like how he supported Logan. Logan have you been in touch with him? No, nah, he has a new number now. But really? uh, yeah, he, he posted a story saying like... So he bet against you, he's ghosted you. What's going on there? I don't know, it's messed up. I don't know, hopefully he watches this and he'll reach out to me. Well, what's your message to Drake if he's watching? Oh, um, should have bet on me. The camera's there. I don't know. I thought we were friends, Drake. That's messed <laughs> up, you know? Logan's not not one of us. We don't sue. We don't do lawsuits, you know? Drake is a gangster like me. We don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I think Drake would decide with me, in my opinion, you know? Logan's a... 
I don't know, he's a pussy. Can I say that on here? I don't know. You can see, we're called uncensored for a reason. Okay, yeah, he's a pussy. You know, he he wanted to sue off. This is this is what he wanted. He didn't <laughs> want to fight. Off. He wanted me to pull out this fight. And he learned it was real when he did that water ball that, and he threw at me and I hit him with that mic, cut his face on when I gave him sue off, almost you know? like a concussion. So he knew it was real. He knew what he Yeah, that mic hit was really good, didn't it? The the best one was the guy in the background with a bottle where he hit like four or five guys in a row. That was such a good hit. Everyone got a little bit of a touch of the water bottle. Like, bap, 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 bap. It was fucking amazing. It was like he was skidding a stone on people's heads. But that Dylan Mike hit was fucking hard. If you watch the other angle, you see what Logan's um, legs sort of wobble. He kind of buckled a little bit. He nearly kind of fell down. Like, that Mike hit was really fucking hard. But also, it was a really good mic. It's a really fucking heavy mic. It's one of those wireless ones. It's got an inbuilt, it's got a battery in the inside. It weighs, it weighs pretty heavy. If you've used one before, you know. So those things don't are not light. Do you know what I mean? If somebody hits you with a wireless microphone on the head, you're gonna feel it. He he's not a real fighter. He's not a real he's an entertainer, you know? Mm. He's not built for this. Is that good for the fight game generally? To have these kind of YouTube influencers. I don't like it. I don't right. like it. But you've taken part in it and it's benefited you. Yeah, for, because and of if Logan. you're Logan Paul, you're like, hang on a sec, you say you don't like it. You just came in and made a million Logan, dollars. Yeah, because Logan fought Mayweather, so he has credibility. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you go around these events, you see these like TikTok kids walking around like, right. like a fight, and I'm like, come on, dude. Like, it's kind yeah, of I don't, very, really like I, I don't like it either. I'm like, come on. Uh, and it's dangerous. You know, boxing's not a, a gentle sport. You got to be careful. So, like, these like tag team things mm -hmm. they're doing and stuff, it's very dangerous. What would happen if you got in the ring with Connor? I wouldn't. That's, that's one of my best friends. I don't talk about training partners, you know. So have you you've trained with him? Oh, I trained with him for almost ten. <clears> years. How now. serious has he got? Oh, he train. Uh, Connor tra trains very, very hard, and he hits very hard, and he takes it very seriously. Have you ever ever knocked him out? <laughs> no, no, I would. I don't see like real martial artists don't talk about training. That's the thing about me and these guys are different. Mm. I'm a real martial artist. I've been training since I was 15, and uh, mm. we go by the code of martial arts. You don't talk about training. Would you ever fight him? Man? No, never, never. That's I mean, if you're Dana friends. White, you're thinking now with all your profile. I think me and Khabib me and Islam would be bigger, you know? I mean, obviously, Connor's one of my best friends and uh, my idols and a mentor but You couldn't me. beat Khabib, could you? Oh, no one's easy. ever beaten Khabib. I would beat Khabib. But no one's beaten Khabib. <laughs> yeah, well, he has a problem. Why would you be able to beat him? Love this. My jiu-jitsu is too good. Hey. I, I'm saying this now. All the stuff I've ever said, mm. I'm willing to go prove it. Give me my, give me our, our people, look, I'm not as expert as you are in, yeah. all, in all this. this sort of my jiu-jitsu is too good for these guys. Well, I was going to ask you, yeah. if you are as good at jiu-jitsu as you are, yeah. Who do you most fear? I don't fear no one. You know, I, I want to know what's going to happen. In, in your thing, world, and look you? at me. I just went and did a boxing match. In the UFC, for example, yeah. what type of fighter would you least want to come up against? I, I swear, I, I would fight all of them. I would fight John Jones. I'm not scared. I did a lot of detector tests. Think you could beat him? I, I did a lot of detector tests, and it showed that I, you know, I believe that. I, and I think if you're a fighter and you don't believe that, mm. then you're not a real fighter. You know, I believe. Yeah, you know, big up the ending, dude. Appreciate you, brother. In regards to Tremaine Emery. I thought Pac feminist clarion call was rail against white privilege by day and get railed by white privilege by night. Sorry, Zynga. Yeah, no worries, brother. Um, thank you for the super chat. Obviously, that's a Taz topic, not really a random show one. But um, just to kind of touch on it lightly, um, <clears throat> it's funny. I get the joke of it. I get how funny it is to have somebody like Tremaine who was speaking so, you know, so passionately about the plight of black people and about his struggles working with supreme and the fact that they didn't want to do certain things that he wanted to do i understand how it's funny i get the funny side of like finally seeing his wife and she's very white but i just don't understand why people's who people decide to sleep with has any relevance or plays any role in their politics or in the way that they, you know, deal with the world in terms of societal issues, race issues. It doesn't really make any sense, really. I don't really, I've never understood that type of things. And it doesn't work for friends. If it's okay for you to have friends from different places in the world and to have, and still look after your own people, but it's different when you sleep with somebody. It's very odd. I never, I've never really got that personally. If anything, I find it odd people who say they only date certain type of people. You meet them before, right? You meet people that say, oh, I only like white girls. Oh, you like Asian boys. It's like, that's a bit odd. It's almost like you're fetish, fetishizing people. It's very strange. And also considering um, how universal love is, you're also denying yourself the opportunity to fall in love with somebody awesome. 
just because you are prescribing to a very small narrow view of what love looks like it's it's really odd again don't blame me if you do do that i just think it doesn't play into part of any part of your personality or the things that you do in terms of uplifting your own people my own personal opinion maybe i'm talking out of my ass who gives a fuck but big up the indian dude appreciate you brother thank you if I can be any man in the world so I think these guys aren't that good mm. and I'm willing to go prove that so go put me in the UFC and give me Islam for a fight so give Dana me. White is watching this yeah he, what's your message to him sign me let's do it give me the biggest fight give me anybody you want Just don't send anybody you want back <laughs> I'll beat them all um, and I, I want to prove what I'm saying is true because it pisses me off that people don't believe in me you know to be fair, I think it will struggle. I don't think the UFC is what it once was. Um, you can't go in there with just straight jujitsu and think you're going to do anything. You have to have a little bit more to your game. Um, I think he would struggle. Personally, my opinion, I think he would struggle. The same way that Ben Ash the, the same way Ben Ash Ben Askren struggled when he came to the UFC. Obviously, different for him because he was a bit older, had a ton of injuries. But I just don't think you could be um, you could be elite in just one field and dominate the way it used to be it's just not the same you have to be well-rounded and i don't think dylan is well-rounded enough really to make it worthwhile for the ufc to put him in he might smoke a few people in the top 30 or something but once it gets really crazy in the top 20 top 15 he'll he'll come he'll come up very short but who knows yeah exactly that's the thing exactly tells you he can sell a fight so he's really good in front of cameras he talks really well um, he's clearly a good troll. He loves all this media shit. And the UFC signing up with WWE, maybe it's a right, it, it could be a good move to get him in to do a couple of fights just for the fun of it, just to spruce up a card, add to it, good fight press conferences. You know what I mean? He'll do all that stuff really, really well. Good media days, interviews, all that malarkey. But in terms of him being a competition, him actually troubling people, nah, I don't buy it. So I want to go out there and I'll fight anyone well, of them. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I had to consult my middle son, who's a bit of an expert yeah, yeah, yeah. in you. He loves you. Oh, he likes me? Oh, yeah, and he said, Dad, don't, don't get sort of distracted by what happened with this kind of yeah, it's thing that happened with, with Logan. But he said, he is one of the greatest jiu-jitsu yeah. exponents in the world. And how many jiu-jitsu guys would go and do a boxing match? Right. You know what I That's mean? That's what he said. Yeah. And I went out there, I didn't get wobbled. I didn't get a standing eight count. Every single one of them. And now you're 10 times more famous than you were two months ago. Exactly. And I didn't do it for the fame. Um, but, you know, I thought Logan would be a better promoter. He mm. was terrible at it. I mm. carried this whole promotion on this card. True. Better than Tommy. They're better than KSI. They, sh they didn't get True. me any paper. He's right, though. He's right about that. Big up, Daniel, dude. I only like Craig Jones from the grappling world because he doesn't take MMA or jujitsu seriously and has a very good sense of humor about it. Yeah, Craig Jones is fucking awesome. He's really cool. Um, to be fair, there's not really, not to be, maybe I'm not as balls deep as other people, but there's not a lot of cunts in the UFC, really, in general. Mostly MMA. There's not really a lot of cunts. Maybe there might be more in Bellator, but I can't think of many in UFC that I don't actually like as people. They all seem pretty sound. It's mostly the organization itself and Dana and the refusal to give people money and shit. Everybody's pretty chill, to, for the most part. Everyone's pretty nice. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. They're all kind of enjoyable people. Uh, mostly when they get on interviews and stuff, they they're really fun to listen to, insightful. Um, you know, whatever it may be. I, I enjoy most of the people on the roster when they um, talk and they communicate and shit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad at them to be fair. But big up to any dude. Appreciate you, bro. Review points. They treated me like shit. Everything was against me. The steroids that he was taking. He was taking EPO. Um, the refs were on his side. He picks the refs. He picks the judges. He picks everything, you know. So I was a handicapped the whole time. He still, he still beat you, though. Yeah, but I don't. I, he beat me in a boxing fight. Right. You know. So he beat me in an MMA fight. But even he, that's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Come on. Nah. Beat he's me in a, a real he's fight. He's a YouTube influencer. He he boxed for five seven years. He couldn't even rattle me. Mm. He was trying to say he would knock me out in a second. Every MMA guy, Joe Rogan, he's gonna get knocked down in a minute. He's gonna get knocked out like this. Look what happened to Ben Askren. He didn't do anything to me, you know? He made me a couple of smacks. Do you, think, do you think you'll ever get in the jiu-jitsu world with you or no, MMA? never, no. I don't think so. I mean, he shook my hand. You see how much of a man he is. Mm. So I'm ready to do it. I can do it tonight. I didn't take any damage. I want to take a fight in the next 30 days. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to do that. Um, I don't think they want to have that image of them online, on social, with their fucking faces turning purple as they're getting choked out. They wouldn't want that. Um, it's already a risk for them to get into the boxing ring and have the risk of being knocked out and knocked down. But they wouldn't want to get into an MMA fight and have somebody strangle them to death or have somebody 
you know, have a highlight reel knockout of them fucking laying on the floor somewhere. It's not happening, personally. I don't think so. And it's just harder, isn't it? Simple as that. It's just a fucking harder thing to get comfortable at and whatnot. But I still think, again, I think the boxing thing, I just think is as a discipline, it's harder because of the lack of options, right? You've only got your hands to use, really. Um, it's just a bit more difficult and way more technical to kind of get right. And you also have to kind of spend a lot of time doing it. I think Anthony Joshua, Deontay, Deontay Wilder basically showed us that, you know, there's only a certain level of boxing you can do or get to a certain level after you've reached a certain age. Do you know what I mean? There's not, you can't really, it's hard to really fix fundamentals if you start super late. Whereas I think MMA, I think you could probably learn a decent amount even in your late age. You could probably get away with a lot, especially if you've got good, a pretty good physique, good engine and stuff, good cardio. You probably get away with a lot more. But I think in boxing, I don't know. I just, from what, again, my own experience, I just feel like it's a little harder.